Hey friends, what is up? It's Melanie. Guys, I am so excited for today's video. If you know me, I am constantly always scrolling on Pinterest and looking for new clothing items to recreate and more specifically things to crochet and knit because I always, always, always need my little project on hand. The project we are working on today, I'm not gonna lie, it's a really daunting one. You probably saw it from the cover of this video. When I saw this picture on Pinterest, my jaw dropped. Like, guys, so cute. I felt like it was something you could see on Free People's website or at Anthropology. And guys, the price was actually worse than if it was on one of those websites, which of course, if it's handmade, all credits to the creator for the design. And I know handmade things are more than worth the price if you actually consider the time and energy and creative design put into it. But we are also crafting girlies here and I like a challenge. That being said, if you've seen any of my crafting videos, you would know that I'm I'm not really a huge knitter, so this is definitely gonna be a challenge for me. Let's see what we can do. So, the first thing I know everybody is asking is, Melanie, what colors are you gonna make it in? No one's probably asking that, but I'm gonna show you anyways. You're gonna see it the entire video. I've been keeping it in here. I don't know why, it's just, it's hanging on my door. I just never put it away, I guess. I do this thing where I'll like buy yarn in advance to get myself excited for my next project. And then it's just been sitting in that bag for a while because it takes me a little while to get moving on my actual project. It has been a very long week. I just want to watch a movie and knit. Yes. I'm a grandma, okay? I got this yarn. It's kind of like a fuzzier, thinner material. The brand is Loops and Threads. I've never used it before. And it's Heathered Tweed Polyester Blend. And I got these two colors. I thought they were very pretty neutral. I'm trying very hard to create things that I will actually wear more because that's kind of a flaw of mine. Like all for hours on end into making something and then wear it like once, which is honestly quite shameful. Issue number two here, I know what you're probably thinking. Melanie, you haven't even started. Like, isn't it a little soon to be having issues? And the answer is yes, absolutely. It is too soon. Maybe I'm too overconfident when it comes to like knitting and crochet, but I feel like I'll figure it out. I also feel like if I'm filming it, then I have to figure it out. So you guys are helping me, but I, I told you guys, I'm like a very beginner knitter. I am much more of a crocheter than a knitter. It just like, it makes so much more sense to me. I feel like you have more control over it, but there's a big chunk of my heart missing because I love knitwear. Like I love the look of it. And I also, for some reason, have like random urges to knit, like feel of it. I don't know. I like how mindless it is sometimes. Cause sometimes with crochet, I'm like counting and then I get confused. I got this because I heard or saw or something. I don't even know what it's called. You need this to make any form of like loop, right? Like to make a sleeve or to make like a tube top, like a connected circle. I took a leap of faith and I bought a kit of these. Little did I know, I don't know why I didn't know this, but there's like different lengths of this, I guess. What I want to make is sleeves that are probably like closer to this big. That is our first issue. I was actually trying to just like, I don't know, not watch a video, not like learn the concept, but I was trying to just go for it and like make a sleeve the other day. Obviously, like it didn't work. And I was like, are you, oh my gosh. It just doesn't make sense to me how to make a cylinder like that, but it's gonna have to make sense because I'm gonna need sleep. I found a little tutorial because like, I'm a cheap girl, okay? You can tell I'm trying to remake this gorgeous, like almost $600 sweater with my little two balls of like $6 yarn. But I watched a little tutorial on how you can use your bigger needle. What are they called? I don't even know what it's called. Circular needles. How to use circular needles to like knit different diameters or something like that like so that you don't have to buy new ones this is the video i will link it for you guys but like doesn't this just it just looks confusing right i took a little noodle break i think it would be better for the investment in the sweater for me to practice first girl making the video recommended to start with a chunkier yarn because it's easier to learn that way so i'm gonna practice this is the chunkiest yarn I have right now. I actually think I'm figuring it out. I know this looks like nothing, but just believe me. I think I'm figuring it out. I think it's time to move on to the yarn that I got.
So this is where I'm at right now. Honestly, I just have to keep on going until I have an entire sleeve and then I have to repeat the whole thing until I have an entire second sleeve. One thing I did realize though is how like depressing, okay, not depressing, but like the whole time I'm doing this, I'm like, I have my magic knitting wheel at home, which helps me whip out four sweaters in the span of a day. Like I genuinely could make this entire design in like a tenth, I'm not even exaggerating, a tenth of the time. But there's also something so nice about it being like genuinely handmade. This is what the yarn is like looking like too. And honestly, I really, really like it. It's like a pretty light sweater. That's my update. I'm actually late for school, but I'll see you guys once I'm knitting again tonight because you bet that's in my plan. Hey guys, so this is really very um, humiliating for me, but it is like maybe six months, okay, not six months, three since um, I started this video, but I was actually a fool thinking that I could knit an entire sweater while I was still in school. So I've been slowly knitting my little pieces and this is Melanie saying hi in the present to finally finish the sweater. Cause yes, I still want the sweater. So I finished all of the hand knit pieces. I think I also realized like I literally have a knitting machine and I shouldn't have been stubborn and tried to hand knit this. Like sometimes it's fun and I have the urge to hand knit, but like I feel like I could have done this on a day with my knitting machine but anyways I can tell people this is hand knit so I have this huge back panel which took me forever to knit I have two of these square ones they have the same measurements so tell me why like I just knit this one way tighter this might be an issue this might be an actual issue they look like they're different sizes but I like counted so I was getting lazy with this one or something I don't know but these are gonna be like the front panels and then we have two sleeves these are the only things I was able to finish during school and then since I've been done and had more time I was able to make all of these which oh my gosh it takes so long to knit well maybe i'm just really slow anyways i have all my pieces and today we will be finishing this freaking sweater i can't wait because i want to wear it i also really want to try to block it i don't know how to block stuff but i've heard it works wonders so hopefully no matter how wonky this turns out blocking it will solve all my problems eh? i'm gonna use this kind of orangey color for the stitches i have some thick yarn needles and then these are the buttons that i chose for the top i can't wait to add those on because I think they all look super super good together I'm going for kind of this like neutral vibe so I'm just gonna try to assemble this at least in the shape that I want it in I don't know what is wrong with this piece that I made. My sweater is literally gonna be lopsided. And then I'm also gonna put the sleeves where I want them. And now all we really have to do is stitch it all together. Here's my sweater laid out. Very boxy to say the least. If you've seen any of my like knitting videos, I'm a pretty new knitter and hence why I've made only rectangles in this video because I don't actually know how to do like any of that increasing decreasing stuff that's coming soon but I did learn how to knit in the round I don't know why it was hard for me I didn't really understand how that works but we got like legit sleeves which is cool let's figure out how to assemble this with that cool like stitchy pattern Maybe I'm a little nervous I messed this up maybe not I don't know I feel like that wasn't supposed to happen Jeez choose a needle could use a crochet hook for this too probably feel like using a needle might be the easiest i dropped all these needles on my floor like a week ago and i'm still finding them it's so dangerous because a stupid lid doesn't stay on so i have to use tape hopefully this works out i swear i'd be winging everything where do i even start i'm just i'm i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna start by stitching the sleeve to one side here and then i'm gonna stitch down the <laughs> the body part also guys i got a new lens i don't know if you can tell but it's like this wide angle lens and so i feel like you can see so much more of what's going on hold up a dang minute i don't even know how to do this stitches i need to look at my reference photo again I feel like I know how to do that stitch, but how do you do, how do you do this? I'm just going for it, guys. It's a very, like, loosely connected stitch because it's going for kind of, like, this scrappy look. Using the needle, though, was definitely the right move. I'm just gonna do this around the entire sleeve until it's stitched together. Also connecting it to this front panel part. I 
think I finished assembling half of my sweater even if they're not connected I'm gonna stitch along all of the open ends by the end of it so like at the bottom of the sleeve I'm gonna stitch around it let's just keep going can't wait to try this on okay I can't wait to try it on but at the same time I'm kind of nervous it's not the best at measuring but let's keep stitching jacket's coming off getting serious in here we're also putting the Taylor Swift on how we also know we're getting serious in here I have it roughly assembled and we're gonna try it on say roughly assembled because I haven't finished all the stitching or the buttons or like tied in any of the ends basically I'm really nervous to try this on let's do it it's just like you know three months of my life so no pressure looking a little crazy right now the main thing i think is that this one is clearly way longer but hopefully blocking will fix that but i definitely just stitched this side way tighter which is like i don't i don't know what's going through my head but i feel like the whole thing is just kind of lopsided whoa can't believe i knit this whole thing and then i'm gonna have buttons going up and down this but i'm not sure that i like this collar which is good that i actually tried this on so i think i might stitch the collar all the way back like this guys it's warm though <laughs> the lopsided is crazy all right i'm gonna finish doing all the like extra stitching around it and maybe try to tie in some ends i'm also gonna fix this collar i hate this collar this is i don't know what i was thinking with this Hey guys, so very exciting news. We have finished the assembly of the sweater, which took quite some time. I ended up watching The Bachelor while I did this, which means it took a whole two hours because those pilot episodes are long. But this is what she's looking like. It's very curled still at a lot of parts and like tense. So I really can't wait to block it. I think it'll really complete the whole thing and shape it, but I wanna try it on. I keep saying this is like my Frankenstein sweater. I don't know why. It's just like the earthy colors for me and the fact that it's like stitched up. I don't know if you can tell, but I also intentionally have to tell you it's intentional. I gave it some slits because I don't know. I've just been obsessed with like the slit style for clothes recently this is what it looks like i think the collar looks so much better than what i was trying to do beforehand but i really want to uncurl this so that you can see all of the stitch and then the other thing i'm gonna do so i guess my sweater is not actually done but i'm gonna add some buttons these cutie little buttons to be specific i have four i'll probably use only three of them do sweaters ever have four buttons one two three four five six I don't even own six buttons. I finished sewing on all my buttons and it's coming together so well. We just have to block it. I'm gonna just use a steamer and you're basically gonna steam your item and pull it and arrange it to the shape you want it to be in as compared to soaking it and then shaping it and letting it air dry. So it should be a little bit quicker. So hopefully I will have a finished sweater by today. Guys, this is so funny. I've never steamed anything before, but my dad conveniently has this. So it's heating up and I feel very professional with it. I have a towel down here to kind of act as my ironing board. I also have some pins and I'm just gonna lay it out in the shape that I want. So basically like just this entire side is like way tighter than this side. So I think I'm gonna just stretch this side out a little bit and I'm gonna use these pins to pin some of it down onto the towel. Now that I have this entire back part pinned down, I'm gonna steam it. And from what I understand, you're supposed to get it close to your item, but you don't wanna touch it. So 
so guys i finished locking it i'm just kind of like letting it set i guess right now i'm gonna go walk my dog and give it like an hour or so but this is what it's looking like this is her right now all pinned down i did poke myself probably 12 times while doing this it was worth it to get a sweater that actually looks like a sweater so we're gonna wait a little bit and i will check back in with you guys once my sweater is fully set and dry it's been a little while now my sweater is completely dry so we're just gonna start unpinning it which might take kind of a while because i can't see any of them are this is so the final touch to any knit piece wow so much better Oh my gosh, so warm too. I'm gonna do it with the buttons, with the finishing of finishing touches. The sleeves are a lot longer too. This is the finished sweater. I think having the buttons adds so much. Look at her. My first hand knit sweater ever. I think this was a perfect thing to do for like your first one too, cause it's still kind of like scrappy. But oh my gosh, what in the heck? That was a very long process, but I am happy with how it turned out. So I can't complain. And I also can't stop looking at it. But it's also so warm, which is such a good thing. It's comfy. That means I'll actually wear it. Still can't get over this. Keep looking at it, but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for joining me on this very long process. But I'm glad that I was able to at least document some of it with you guys. I am glad to save $500 with this. I love my new sweater, and I just want to thank you guys so much for joining me on this little hafting expedition. I am really excited to bring a lot of knitting and crocheting and crafting back into my channel now that I have so much more time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you in my next video. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.